Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be learning important questions and answers from Chapter 4, Timeline and Sources of History. Question number 1. Define a timeline. A timeline is a convenient tool to show a sequence of dates and events covering any particular period. It helps us understand the order in which historical events happened. Question number 2. What is a century? Give an example. A century is a period of 100 years. For example, the year 2025 belongs to the 21st century CE, which began in the year 2001 and will end in 2100. What is a millennium? A millennium is a period of thousand years. We are currently living in the third millennium CE, which began in the year 2001 CE and will end in the year 3000 CE. What is a source of history? A source of history is a person, place, text or object that gives us information about a past event or time period. Who is a geologist? A geologist studies the physical features of the earth such as soil, stones, hills, mountains, rivers, seas, oceans and other natural parts of the earth. Who is a paleontologist? A paleontologist studies the remains of plants, animals and humans from millions of years ago, found in the form of fossils. Who is an anthropologist? An anthropologist studies human societies and cultures from the oldest times to the present. Who is an Archaeologist. An archaeologist studies the past by digging up remains left behind by people, plants and animals. These remains include tools, pots, beads, figurines, toys, bones and teeth of humans and animals, burnt grains, bricks and parts of old houses. What is an era? An era is a distinct period of time marked by important events, such as the birth of an important person or the rule of a king or dynasty. For example, the era of Alexander the Great. What is the Gregorian calendar? The Gregorian calendar is the calendar used all over the world today. It has 12 months with a total of 365 days in a year and a leap year of 366 days every 4 years. What does BCE and CE stand for? BCE stands for Before Common Era and CE stands for Common Era. What is a fossil? A fossil is the preserved impression or remains of footprints, plants or animals that are found in layers of soil or rock. What is genetics? Genetics is the branch of biology that studies how certain features and characteristics are passed down from one generation to the next in plants, animals and humans. Who is a historian? A historian is a person who studies and writes about the past using sources of history. What is history? History is the study of the human past. It helps us learn about people, places, events and how societies have changed over time. What are the different sources of history? Give two examples for each. 
there are four main sources of history they are archaeological sources literary sources oral sources and artistic sources examples of archaeological sources are pottery and coins examples of literary sources are poems and plays examples of oral sources are genealogical and folklore examples of artistic sources are paintings and sculptures who is an epigraphist an epigraphist studies ancient inscriptions written on stone metal or other hard surfaces to learn about the past what is a decade a decade is a period of 10 years explain the life of early humans Early humans faced many challenges from nature and lived in bands or groups to help each other. They were constantly seeking shelter and food and were mainly hunters and gatherers. What did early humans use to make their life easier? Early humans used fire and started making objects that made their lives easier such as improved stone axes blades arrowheads and other tools which period is known as the ice age the period when much of the earth was covered with ice and it was very cold is called the ice age it lasted from over 1 lakh years ago to around 12000 years ago why the humans often settled down near rivers humans often settled near rivers because of the availability of water and also because the soil would be more fertile it made the process of growing crops easier What role did chieftains play in early communities? Chieftains were the leaders of early communities. They were responsible for the well-being of the people and everyone collectively worked towards the community's welfare. What are the different ways of measuring time? Time is measured in years, decades, centuries and millenniums. Can we compare historians to detectives? Give reasons for your answers. Yes, historians can be compared to detectives because both try to find out what happened in the past. Historians collect clues from sources like old books, objects and stories, just like detectives gather evidence to solve a mystery. They both ask questions study facts and try to recreate the history who contributes to sources of history many people contribute to sources of history including historians archaeologists epigraphists anthropologists and experts in literature and languages turn 12000 years ago into a date 12000 years ago means going back in time from this year that is 2025 so we have to minus 2025 from 12000 that will be 9975 since there is no year zero we have to add 1 so 9975 plus 1 so 12000 years ago means around 9976 BCE Place these dates chronologically on the timeline 323 CE 323 BCE 100 CE 100 BCE 1900 BCE 1900 CE 2024 CE BCE counts backwards so we write the biggest BCE year first that is 1900 bce 
then 323 BCE, then 100 BCE. After that, they move into CE, which counts forward, starting with 100 CE, then 323 CE, then 1900 CE, and finally 2024 CE. So, the timeline in chronological order will appear like this. Rani of Jansi was born in 1828. Which century did she belong to? How many years was that before India's independence? So, Rani of Jansi was born in 1828, which means she belonged to the 19th century. India got independence in 1947. So, we have to subtract 1828 from 1947. So, we get 119. So, Rani of Jansi was born 119 years before independence. If King Chandragupta was born in 320 CE, which century did he belong to? And how many years was that after the Buddha's birth? So, King Chandragupta was born in 320 CE. So, he belonged to the 4th century CE. Gautama Buddha was born around 560 BC. So, to calculate the total years between them, we have to add BCE year plus CE year minus 1. So, here BCE year is 560. 560 plus 320 minus 1. That will be 879. So, King Chandragupta was born 879 years after the Buddha's birth. Why is there no year 0 in the Gregorian calendar? There is no year 0 in the Gregorian calendar because the year 1 CE, that is common era, follows immediately the year 1 BCE before common era, skipping year 0. This is why when we count years across BCE and CE, we subtract one year to get the correct total. Next is fill in the blanks. First one, history is the study of the dash. So, what will be the answer? Human past. History is the study of the human past. Second one, AD is the abbreviation of the dash phrase Anno Domini. Answer is Latin. It is the abbreviation of the Latin phrase Anno Domini. The abbreviation BC stands for Before Christ. Next one. A dash helps in understanding the order in which historical events takes place. Answer is timeline. Along with the year and the decade, we use dash and dash to understand longer durations of time. Along with the year and the decade, we use century and millennium to understand longer durations of time time. The plural of millennium is dash or dash. So, what is the plural of millennium? Millenniums or millennia. Seventh one. A dash is a traditional Indian calendar used to mark important dates and festivals. A panchanga is a Traditional Indian calendar used to mark important dates and festivals. Modern humans are also called Dash. Answer is Homo sapiens. A small settlement or small village is called a Dash. A small settlement or small village is called a Hamlet. In the Gregorian calendar, there is no dash. Answer is year zero. Epigraphist study ancient dash. Answer is 
inscriptions. Next one. Early humans were mainly dash and dash. Early humans were mainly hunters and gatherers. Early humans used dash and started making objects like improved stone axes and blades. So the answer is fire. Aspects of early humans life are visible in dash found in many caves. So the answer is rock paintings. The last ice age lasted from over dash years ago to around dash years ago. The answer is from over 1 lakh years ago to around 12,000 years ago. Next question. Early humans domesticated animals such as dash and dash. Early humans domesticated animals like cattle and goats. Early humans chose to settle near rivers because of the availability of dash and the dash of the soil. Answer is availability of water and fertility of the soil. Leaders or dash were responsible for the well-being of the people. The answer is chieftains. Next one, metals such as dash and dash were used to make durable tools, objects of daily use and ornaments. Metals like copper and iron were used by early humans. The years before the conventional date for the birth of Jesus Christ are counted dash. Answer is backwards. With this, we have completed our questions and answers. I hope this will be useful for your exams. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. We will meet again in the next video. Bye-bye.